make sure you get your right hand on your left ankle. And then, see how that, he's already got it going. Okay, now he could keep it just the arm, but he adds a little more by grabbing here. Okay, he rolls back, and there's the net. And if he had, and again, if he's a really strong guy, strong neck, and you can't get the choke, then the fat. Okay. We got a leg press situation. You know, Derek's got Mike down. He's rolling him. How he's rolling him? Here he is. Okay, and he's got. You know, Mike's obviously defending. He wants to keep his arm straight. And Derek is really trying to get that jujigatami. Okay, it's a great position for it. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to choke him. We're going to, we're going to actually get a strangle, actually, because we're going to work this, this leg choke here. So this is there are a lot of different ways to choke somebody with your legs from this position. Here is one of them. And this is a good one. It's very rather simple and straightforward. Okay. Um, what, what he's going to do, he's going to keep thinking, Mike, you know, defend here, defend here. Okay. And what he's going to do is he's going to filter this leg through here. He's going to pop it open just enough to filter it through. And the, the leg closest to Mike's legs here, and he slips it under, and he gets this nice, nasty leg choke. Okay? All right, let's take a look at that. Okay? Yeah, just go ahead and do one, okay. you know. There you go. Now, what you can't see is... What he's doing here with his arms we're going to show that in a minute but let's look at the big picture here so again mike's cooperating now okay now we, we want to make some opening here so the leg closest to the feet you're going to kind of with your heel kind of pop that open and slide it through that helps open the hole we're going to open the hole now he's got his, he's got a clear way through here now as soon as he does that he wants to reach under his head okay even if you have to pop mike up a little bit with his his arm like this, like you shove it under a little bit. There he does that, and he filters it there. Now, here's where the choke, the actual strangle comes in. Right here, this leg, this this bottom part of his leg, the lower half of his leg, right along Mike's carotid here, okay? Now, by grabbing under Mike's head and trapping it, he's got a really nasty triangle, you know, the, the leg choke there. Now, what he can do here with this hand, just to make it, go ahead and grab your forearm, go ahead and grab your forearm. Do that, and that just kind of, cinches it in nice and tight. It's like a nutcracker, okay? And that's what happened. Now, you don't have to have this arm. You can do other things with it. You can grab his lapel, or just not, you can just hold his arm. You've got a good choke here, okay? Now, another way to make it nastier is to kind of come up as you roll back. Rolling back helps, and then triangle that makes it nastier, okay? If you stay there on your seat, you can strangle him. It will work, oh. but it will make it tighter if you roll back slightly toward his legs like that. See that? And then add even more to it, there's a really nasty figure out, there, you know, a triangle situation. So it's a really sneaky move. Okay, so he's really thinking, start, start from the beginning. Mike is thinking, hey, I have to defend against the arm lock. And he's rightly so. Pop that and filter through, and as soon as that comes through, bring it under, okay? And get it a little tight. There you go, all right, there, now. And now, to roll back, see how he has to roll back to get the, make the effect the choke? There you go. And if he wanted to, he could add the triangle with it. And poor Mike, I'm, I'm not me getting it, Mike is, right? Okay. Poor Mike. And there he is, there he's nastier. Okay? He so those are different ways to get it. What's that? So he taps out or his face matches the mat? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But it, it really, it's kind of a no-lose situation if you're Derek here, because you're winning. You're, you got him in a, you know, position here. And even if you can, you can sit up and go to and hold down some kind of an osakomi situation. But it's a very strong situation here, okay? Very strong. The only thing I say is come back to the start. Now, some people might have trouble doing this. When you filter your leg through, okay? When you filter your leg through, try to, try, and try to get that down as far as you can here. As soon as you do that, change your legs. Think about that. I, I'm not a real bright guy, so I have to think about what happens next, okay? As soon as that happens. Now, you've got that nice and low. That's when he starts to slide under the head and catch it. Now you'll find some people will slide under palm up, palm sideways, palm down. It doesn't matter. And you say, well, which way should I do it? Whatever works for you. But all you want to do is make sure you get your right hand on your left ankle. And that, see how that, he's already got it going. Okay. Now he could keep it just the arm, but he adds a little more by grabbing here. Okay. He rolls back and there's the net. And if he had, and again, if he's a really strong guy, strong neck, and you can't get the choke, then the fat, okay? And that helps. 
I'm sure there are other ways to do it too, but that's all I figured out. So yeah, I'm going with that. Let's try that for a while, okay? Let's work on that. But again, the leg press position is useful not just for jujigatami. You know, we can. That's our main goal is to get that jujigatami if we can. But if it's not, we'll go for something else. This is a good plan B, if nothing else. Okay. All right, let's okay, let's look at this uh, triangle choke application, Sankaku Jume situation. It's, it's really a strangle. Remember, we're, we're doing a leg choke as well, a leg strangle as well uh, from this leg press position. But let's, let's key in on this one phase here where we roll back and get the, the Sankaku, okay, to add a little insult to injury, injury to insult, whatever you want to call it. So when, when Derek is doing this, go ahead and filter in, get your move going, Derek, there. And when he's coming in there and he's filtering through there, okay, and he's going, he's going to go for that leg choke. Oh, by the way, that's a good point. Before you come up, come, come back. Listen, listen, to help make that, you know, easier for you, when you start, let's still do the leg choke where they reach under. But w go ahead and roll to the side like you did there when you come up. Now, when you do this, filter it through. Now, watch as he rolled back he, with his one leg. See, I lifted up. Now, with his left hand, he could reach under quickly and grab the, uh, and he gets a really nasty come back here. Nice okay, so fil filter it through. Okay, I'm gonna move this way towards his leg, okay? Make sure you've got both hands underneath there so you don't get into one of these situations where you've got the normal lever that way and you're like, oh, I gotta dig through there and then I gotta dig under here. And I gotta grab that and then I gotta go that way. Just get both of them through if you know you're gonna be going after this, okay? Go sideways first and see how his head naturally goes up because I'm pulling him into a sit-up, okay? No matter what he does, he's not going to be able to keep flat if I'm moving all my weight towards his feet, okay? And as soon as his head gets up a little bit, my knee goes right behind it and that blocks it. So now when I hit my hip, I can unwind my hand, slide underneath there, Oops, sorry, Eric. Yeah. grab that shin, and there's the first choke. There's the second choke. By rolling back, you make that even tighter when you roll back. That first, you know, the, the, the leg strangle, you know, by grabbing your own ankle, that's pretty nasty in itself, okay, because of the angle and rollback. But when you add that triangle action, as we've been doing here in practice, that makes it even kind of more of a double trouble situation. Yeah. And so, again, I, I like pushing with my heel because you never know when a guy's got good elbow control and he sticks through there and you can't filter your, your toes through. You can almost always get your foot there and you shove them over a little bit and then you just point your toe and it goes right through. We start moving sideways, knee gets underneath it, okay, slide under and catch that uh, shin. Try the squeeze first, not working, okay, work your forearm in there, there's your tap, okay, there's a triangle, if you really have to, then you can start doing fun things like that. <clears throat> Kevin, we're doing over there. <clears throat> Moral of the story is you're just kind of working your way onto that side so that you can add more options into your your attack. So one more time through. Okay, I've got a good grip on it. I get both hands through. Okay, I'm gonna push with my heel until I get that space. And it's like this, and then just like that. And that's kind of like needling your your you know foot through there, yeah. filtering yeah. it through there, threading threading the needle or whatever. A lot more. Uh, uh, bendy guys will be able to do stuff like this, you know, that's great too, but we're not all that bendy, okay? So if you're having trouble getting it through, shove with your heel until you can just pop your toes down. Foot on the mat, okay? Lean down, knee up so that you get them nice and tight, okay? Slide under, use the form if you need to, triangle. If you have to do, grab that leg and finish there. Yeah. <clears throat> really, the idea here is control, keep gaining more control, and make it much more uncomfortable every second he's down there. Every step of the way. Every step, make it more and more uncomfortable, where if nothing else, he's just tired of having his body manipulated, you know. Yeah. But you will be strangling him. But even the, the pain of it, the un yeah. being uncomfortable, will make it's, some people tap great. out. And you'd be surprised how many people want to sit up anyways. Uh, to get out of that juji. As soon as you kind of get that one foot off of their face, it's this weird kind of like instinct. Like a macho push through. Right. They're like, oh, uh, I can see his foot's off my face. I'm going to haul ass forward and sit up. And then you're like, oh, thank you. You're just making that easier to, 
Show them, but without yeah, killing the poor guy, show what that means. Because this is, there are a lot of, lot of ways to lever the arm free, you know, and, and but, but apply chokes and strangles and arm locks and, and pins as well. But what, so, so Derek is holding him. Eric is on the bottom. A lot of guys will try to just sit up. And if he tries to sit up, well, that just leads right into this. So there you go. Even if he's filtering that foot through and the, and the guy starts to sit up right here, this is a present for you. The guy pushes that leg out of the way, starts to collect. It's obviously a bad deal for me if he knows what he's doing. So, yeah, yeah as, as you can see, everybody, you may even strangle him when he's up on his knees. Yeah, it, it will most likely happen the more you use this. So, don't get freaked out that he's going to stack you when he starts sitting up. Just go sideways, and then he doesn't stack you anymore, okay? So, remember, he has to act, even while I'm doing this and I get my foot through, if he wants to stack me, he's got to clear that which just opened up the triangle, and now he's got to stack me, but I've got him in the triangle before he even gets there. Okay, even if I don't want a triangle and I want to use the shin, I'll still get that before he actually starts stacking. So you could make this, you could affect this even when he's up on his knees. Yes, very, very He won't easy. always be laying on his back. No. Okay, 